Our world is in peril. Gaia, the spirit of the Earth, can no longer stand the terrible distraction plaguing our planet. Good day, Earthlings! I am Teacher Shin, your Earth Freak, Green Fanatic, Science Tastic Teacher. Join me as we explore the interconnections between the land, oceans, atmosphere, and the life of our planet. Watch intently and listen sensibly as we delve into the wonders of planet Earth. Let's review what we had last time. The five main factors that make the planet Earth habitable for us. Earthlings, do you remember what the acronym TWIN stands for? T, temperature, where the Earth is at the right distance from the sun. W, water, liquid water is necessary for life to exist. E, energy. With a steady input of either light or chemical energy, cells can run chemical reactions necessary for life. A. Atmosphere. It keeps the surface warm and protects us from radiation and small to medium-sized meteorites. N. Nutrients. They are essential factors used to build and maintain organisms' body structure. The objectives for today's lesson are Identify the four subsystems of the Earth. Distinguish the characteristics of each subsystem. Explain how matter and energy flow in the subsystems. And trace the flow of matter and energy in the subsystems. Earth is the third planet from the Sun and considered as haven for many life forms. As a closed system, it serves as harbor of life for billions of years and still continue to comfort innumerable life forms. Thus, Earth itself has different systems that interact with others to provide all necessities in order for life to continue to prosper. Before we go on our lesson, answer these questions to find out if you got something in your packets about today's topic. Are you ready? Okay, let's do it! Number 1. Which of the following is a system in which there is only an exchange of heat or energy and no exchange of matter? A. Closed system B. Open system C. Subsystem or D. Solar system What is your answer? Right! A. Closed system Number 2. Which Earth subsystem refers to the set of all life forms on Earth? A. Atmosphere B. Biosphere C. Geosphere or D. Hydrosphere What do you think is the answer? Great! The answer is letter B, biosphere. Number three, which two subsystems are interacting when plants produce oxygen? A, atmosphere and geosphere. B, biosphere and atmosphere. C, biosphere and hydrosphere. Or D, hydrosphere and atmosphere. Do you think you get it right this time? Let's see. The correct answer is letter B, biosphere and atmosphere. Number four, which of the following is an abiotic factor? A, plant, B, air, C, trees, or D, bees?
What is your answer? Yes, B, air. Number five. What subsystems are involved in the statement given below? Flooding moves soil and rocks to new places. A. Atmosphere and hydrosphere. B. Geosphere and biosphere. C. Hydrosphere and biosphere. Or D. Hydrosphere and geosphere. What do you think is the answer? Very good! The answer is letter D, hydrosphere and geosphere. System is a set of interconnected components that are interacting to form a unified whole. Examples are the solar system, all the body system, the ecosystem, and the earth system. Today, we're going to focus with the subsystems of the Earth. Earth is a complex system of interrelating physical, chemical, and biological processes. It is a system in which there are sets of interconnected components that are interacting to form a unified whole. Earth is comprised of four major smaller systems known as subsystems. These are also called as spheres of the Earth. These are the atmosphere, geosphere, hydrosphere, and biosphere. Atmosphere serves as the Earth's blanket. Its name rooted from the Greek word atmos, which means gas, and spira, which means globe or ball. It is composed of gases in varying amount and its relative abundance is also crucial in different parts of the Earth. The air in the atmosphere is generally composed of 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen, 0.9% argon, and the remaining 0.10% is made up of different trace of gases and vapor. It serves as the Earth's protection from harmful UV rays and keeps the planet warm through greenhouse. Atmosphere is affected by the Earth's gravity. So this is the reason why as the altitude increases, the amount of gases in the atmosphere decreases. It is composed of layers namely troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, thermosphere, and exosphere. Geosphere comes from the Greek word geos, meaning ground. It pertains to the solid part of the Earth. It is divided into three layers, such as the crust, mantle, and the core. It is composed of naturally occurring solid aggregate of minerals, organic material, or natural glass called rocks. It is also composed of loose particles of rocks that envelop the surface of the Earth called regolith. It contains all the soil, rocks, and minerals present in the crust to the core of the Earth. It comprises the geologic landforms such as mountains and hills. Hydro is a Greek word which means water. Hydrosphere is composed of all the water on Earth in any form. This can either be in a form of water vapor and liquid water. Another part of this subsystem is the permanently frozen parts called cryosphere. Earth is the only planet in the solar system that is known to contain water in all three phases. Water on Earth is constantly and consistently moving because of temperature and salinity. It also plays an important role in absorption and redistribution of solar radiation. Biosphere comes from the Greek word bios, meaning light. It is composed of all living things and the areas where they were found. It includes all animals, microbes, and plants. It extends to the upper areas of the atmosphere where insects and birds can be found. It also extends to the deep parts of the oceans 
where marine organisms can still survive. It is also in this zone that interaction between different subsystems is most dynamic. In biosphere, each organism plays an important role in the food web. If one is lost, the others will be affected. Matter and energy flow and cycle between the four subsystems to sustain and make life on Earth possible. Both of them can flow across the boundaries between each subsystem. The geosphere is where the rocky part of the Earth is in contact with water, air, and life. It is also generally where the spheres intersect and affect each other. The processes that move matter and energy from one sphere to another is called sphere interactions. Changes in any sphere greatly affect the other spheres as well, since all the spheres are interconnected systems. The four subsystems are closely linked through biogeochemical cycles, which involves biological, geochemical, and chemical factors. These cycles are alleyways by which substances move through biotic, which is biosphere, and abiotic, which are geosphere, atmosphere, and hydrosphere components of the Earth. It allows the circulation of important nutrients that form and support life like carbon, oxygen, nitrogen, phosphorus, calcium, and water. Any interference and disturbance in the flow of matter and energy may cause damage to any of the subsystems and its components. We learned some information about Earth's subsystem. Let us now check your comprehension on this topic. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Number 1. Earth is made up of landforms like mountains and hills. In which subsystem do mountains and hills belong? A. Atmosphere B. Biosphere C. Geosphere or D. Hydrosphere The correct answer is C. Geosphere. Number 2. Which of the following is a biotic factor? A. Water. B. Air. C. Rocks. Or D. Bees. The answer is D, bees. Number three, oceans cover almost the entire Earth's surface. This is the big part of the Earth's hydrosphere and plays an important role in the Earth's habitable condition. Which of the following is its function? A, it protects and absorbs solar radiation. B, it protects and adsorbs solar radiation. C. It absorbs and redistributes solar radiation. Or D. It adsorbs and replenishes solar radiation. The answer is C. It absorbs and redistributes solar radiation. Number 4. Which subsystem contains all living organisms of Earth, including those in the land, in the water, and in the air? A. Atmosphere B. Biosphere C. Geosphere or D. Hydrosphere The answer is B, biosphere. 
Number five, which of the following is an interaction between geosphere and atmosphere? A. Bacteria converting nitrogen to ammonium. B. Plants undergoing the process of transpiration. C. Rocks undergoing the process of weathering due to flood. Or D. Water evaporating from the soil. The answer is letter D, water evaporating from the soil. Let's wrap it up. Today, you learned about the Earth's subsystems as a study of how the four spheres of the Earth interact continuously and how each sphere affects the others. It is also defined as a set of physical, chemical, and biological systems that are interconnected by flows of mass and energy. The four major systems of the Earth are air, water, land, and life. The biological components of the Earth's system is called sphere. This sphere is divided into four, the geosphere, the atmosphere, the biosphere, and the hydrosphere. Remember that all the spheres interconnect and overlap. A line from the theme song of the movie Pocahontas say, And we are all connected to each other, in a circle, in a hoop that never ends. Tune in for our next science-tastic episode on Earth materials and resources, physical and chemical properties of minerals, as we continue to explore the interconnections between the land ocean, atmosphere, and life of our planet, only here at Tepid TV. This is Teacher Sheen, your Earth Freak, Green Fanatic, Science-tastic teacher. See ya!